Hey, a pleasant good week, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and it was a great last week for a Philadelphia Eagles as we absolutely smacked around the Denver Broncos after they destroyed the Dallas Cowboys the week prior. So, again, try to make sense of the NFL. It will be something that will probably drive you crazy. But the Eagles came out and played absolutely great again. They also, again, actually ran the football. Jordan Howard ended up having 83 yards. I honestly, watching the game live, did not peep he had that many yards in the game. I did realize Scott did have a very good game at 81 yards, the underrated running back. And Jalen Hurts had 53 of his own. Jalen Hurts also had a very solid passing game at 16 of 23 and two tutties and 178 yards. Him and Devontae Smith, the connection was rediscovered, and having this run game be mixed in in recent weeks, we're finally seeing, and hopefully it's finally starting to wake up Nick Sirianni, and Nick Sirianni is just seeing how much running a football does not only obviously help instill confidence in whoever the hell you have running the ball, obviously, but also helps your damn offense to be able to operate, because early in the season, if you just keep going pass, 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 with a guy that is still learning the passing aspects of the NFL compared to college football, what the hell do you think is going to happen? So now, in recent weeks, Nick Sirianni is actually coaching like someone that really is known for maybe being more of a guy that can think the game like it was talked about in his coaching scouting reports before he came in here, rather than someone that looks like a total doofus in his first couple weeks, just passing it when it clearly ain't working. It's like the opposite. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, if it's broke, fix the damn thing. And it seems like he's actually done that. And obviously, we're running the football very well. And that's not even with our best running back in the lineup in Miles Sanders. So that should bring more success once he is back in the lineup. But Jordan Howard is mixing in very well. And he's a guy... And makes Nick Sirianni, I think, just keep it simple, too, because Jordan Howard's just known for running through the tackles, basically. So you're not going to overcomplicate it with him. And then Boston Scott's a very good uh, smaller back that actually has some for brute force to him. And also, obviously, can catch the ball good out of the backfield. And then you also have Kenny Gainwell, who's a nice talented back. The Eagles have a talented backfield, and then plus you have Sanders. So you have good depth there, and you have a very good starter. If you keep using them correctly like this... The Eagles are in a good position with the third easiest schedule to somehow, some way. I never thought I would honestly be saying this at the beginning of the season. I'm going to be blunt and honest. Potentially make it into one of the final playoff spots. I'm still way away from saying I think that's a high possibility because the Eagles team has been woefully inconsistent. And I'm not talking about necessarily. I actually shouldn't. And then the team's also been woefully inconsistent, I should say, more so because of the coaching of Jonathan Gannon and the coaching of Nick Sirianni, where Sirianni especially is starting to really look like he's starting to get his head sharpened in and actually learn the way to make play calling in the NFL. Because he, even though he was an OC, he didn't have much experience play calling because his head coaches did that. So he's gaining that kind of sharpness when it comes to that between his ears. And it seems like he's doing better each week. Gannon's still kind of the one that's the epitome of inconsistency each week. We had a good week this week defending the Broncos after they smacked around the Cowboys. So that's a good thing to see. <clears throat> it's now on to playing a very good New Orleans Saints team. But albeit a banged up New Orleans Saints team. Because they obviously do not have... Jameis Winston for the rest of this season, who obviously is not the Jameis Winston anybody thought he was going to be when he got drafted, but still is a very nice quarterback who was having a very nice season of um 14 touchdowns to three interceptions and a 102.8 rating. So he was having a very good season um for the New Orleans Saints. Now they go to the former Denver Broncos QB, who actually is playing with a 94.5 rating, five tutties to zero interceptions. He's just getting sacked three times, not getting a hell of a lot of help, um, or excuse me, six times, not getting a hell of a lot of help since he's played by their team. He's only started two games to be sacked six times. That's not a good number, is Trevor Simeon. So he's a guy that actually is a little bit this season in Sean Payton's offense 
a guy that obviously was drafted in the seventh round, so the career he's made even for himself at this point, just starting some games in Denver and doing some stuff as a backup here, has actually developed into what they might have thought they first had in Denver when he first came in, and fans were hoping he was maybe one of that those late-round bloomers that turns into at least a Taylor Heineke, maybe, level starting quarterback and somebody that's actually a pretty solid cat you can throw in in the interim while you're waiting for somebody else. And that's what it seems like Trevor Simeon's doing more so of this year. He's still not going to dazzle you. He's still just a keep it simple Eddie type quarterback. But um, he's a guy that seems to do the small things right now and not the biggest key when it comes to a backup quarterback, not throw it into bad turnovers, which he did do in Denver. So it seems like he's grown and he's actually developed himself, at least in his first two starts, in a better run offense in New Orleans into a solid backup quarterback. So the Eagles don't want to take him lightly with the way he's been playing in his first two weeks. And then obviously um, Kamara's questionable with a knee. Jones has an ankle. They brought back Mark Ingram, who's had good games against the Birds before. And then they also have... um. They also have Dwayne Washington, who's played a little bit this year. So they're kind of weak at the run game. And then former Eagle Jamal Adams is on the roster but hasn't played. Uh, They're kind of weak at the running game unless if Ingram just runs all over the Eagles, which is something at this point of his career you shouldn't allow to do. So I think this is a team, that's why Simeon has those numbers too, the 5-0 to in two games. They have to pass it a little bit, even with Trevor Simeon in, because you don't have the running game with the injuries you have. And it's not like you have a guy like Jameis back there now that can also skate a little bit when it comes to a quarterback, and you can run the quarterback runs. So I think this is a game this week that the Eagles, honestly, particularly with the injuries to the running game, obviously if Kamara goes who's questionable, that changes everything. But if Kamara doesn't go in the game, it's going to still be a more pass-first offense um, for a team that obviously doesn't have, one, the same offensive line they once had, and two, the guy like Callaway that's inconsistent, and then obviously Michael Thomas um, is not in. So you don't have the most consistent offensive weapons like the very good Saints teams led by Drew Brees once had. So this is a team that I think the Eagles can actually grab a win against, And it's a must-win, honestly, for them if they want to get into the mindset of now I actually might start recognizing them as a team if they get back-to-back wins against a Broncos team that's a fairly solid team. And then a very solid um, New Orleans Saints team in terms of when you combine both sides of the ball. I think that would be a good back-to-back stretch, and then we have the third easiest schedule moving forward, so it would be a very big win for the Eagles if they want to actually get in the frame of mind of being really considered to potentially make the playoffs. So this has been the Sports Fanatic News Philadelphia Eagles weekly show as we talked about last week's game and then previewed this week's game. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everybody. Let's go, birds. Let's make it a couple in a row. Peace out, everybody.